Okay, today uh, we will be working on division properties of exponents. Um, and so, similarly to what we did with multiplication, kind of, uh, kind of the same thing. So, um, to divide powers with the same base, uh, we're going to subtract. Um, again, kind of the same as multiplication. Multiplication and division are sister operations. And so, when we multiply, we add. When we divide, we subtract. And so, what I can do is... Uh, since they're the same base, they're both 3's, I can just subtract the exponents, and so I can get uh, 3 to the second power. Oops, actually, here we go. Um, the one thing that's important to know is that whenever I use the division property, my answer always goes on the top. So my answer will always go on the top. Um, regardless of whether it is, um, or I'll get there on some examples. Um, the second one is uh, when I have parentheses with division inside the parentheses, um, I'm going to share the exponent with the top and the bottom. So this will be 3 to the third power over 4 to the third power. Um, again, I would just leave it like that because these are not the same base, so I couldn't go any farther. That would be my final answer. 3 to the third on the top, 4 to the third on the bottom. Um, so the way we're going to do this, if, if I see a really complex equation with lots of stuff going on, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of exponents, um, right parentheses next to this. So if I see parentheses with an exponent on the outside, I need to take care of that first. The second thing is I'm going to move my negative exponents. Uh, and then I can uh, multiply my like terms. So multiply my numbers together or my letters together that are the same on the top or the bottom. Then I can finally divide and simplify and move any negative exponents. Um, so it's, it takes a little bit of time, but um, it's not as bad as it seems. It, that's not going to happen on every single problem. So uh, with the first uh, list of, num of problems that I have, um, the first one, again, the since I see the parentheses, I want to take care of the 3 first. So z to the 2 thirds power to the third power means I multiply. So I'm going to go z to the 2 thirds power. I'm going to write it first, and then I'll simplify it. And on the bottom, I get 5 to the third power. So again, um, on the top here, I'm going to multiply those exponents by each other. So I get uh, 2 thirds times 3 gives me 2. So z squared on the top, and on the bottom, 5 to the third power is 125. Um, the next one, again, same thing. I'm going to share that 4 between the top and the bottom. So I get a to the 3 fourths power to the fourth power. And then on the bottom, I get a to the fifth to the fourth. Taking them both to the fourth power. So on the top, I get uh, a to the third power because 3 fourths times 4 gives me 3. And then on the bottom, again, I'm multiplying, so I get a to the 20th. So again, these are both a's, so I can go ahead and divide these by each other. Um, so 3 minus 20 gives me negative 17. And like I said before, my answer always goes on the top. So a to the negative 17th power. Again, I subtracted the 3 from the 20 to get negative 17. It always goes on the bottom. And then to like simplify my final answer, I want to move the negative exponent down with the a. So I get 1 over a to the 17th power. Okay. Um, the next one, um, don't have to move anything, no negative exponents, no parentheses, so I can just go ahead and divide. So um, I can divide my m's together, and then I can divide my n's together. So when I do m squared divided by m to the fifth, I'm going to subtract to get m to the negative third, and then n to the fourth divided by n to the third gives me n to the first power. Um, again, both these answers are going to be on the top. And so to get my final answer, I'm going to move the negative exponent down to get n, or n to the first, over top of m to the third. There's my final answer. Um, this next one, again, what I'm going to do is I want to move my negative exponents first. So I'm going to move the y on the top down, the y on the bottom up. So I'm going to have on the top x to the fourth, y to the fifth, z to the eighth, and then on the bottom, I have x to the fourth, uh, y to the first, 
and z, again, I can write in an invisible one there, so I make sure I'm subtracting right. When I do this, I uh, can divide my like terms, so my x's, my y's, and my z's, and so when I do that, I get x to the zero power, y to the fourth, and z to the seventh by subtracting all of them. Again, x to the zero power is the same thing as a one, so my final answer can be y to the fourth, z to the seventh. Uh, the middle problem that we have, again, the very first thing I want to do is share this between the top and the bottom. So on the top, I get parentheses 2x to the 6th to the negative 3rd. On the bottom, I get y to the 4th to the negative 3rd. And so I'm going to share this again. On the top, I've got two terms inside the parentheses, so I'm going to share the negative 3 with both of them. And then on the other side, just have one thing. So I get 2 to the negative 3rd x to the negative 18th, because, again, power to a power means I'm going to multiply. And then on the bottom, y to the 4th to the negative 3rd is going to give me negative 12. Um, this problem, everything's going to end up flipping. So uh, the y squared is going to go to the top. Let me draw that. And then the 2 and the x are going to go down to the bottom. So y to the 12th on the top. On the bottom is 2 to the 3rd power x to the 18th. And so, again, 2 to the 3rd power is 8. Plug that into my calculator. So I get y to the 12th over top of 8x to the 18th. The next problem, again, I've got all my like terms. Um, here, I can move the t up to the top to make it a little bit easier. So on the top, I have 3 squared, m to the 5th, t to the 6th, t to the 5th. On the bottom, I have 3 to the 5th, m to the 7th. So first thing I can do is uh, I can go ahead and multiply my t's together. So when I do that, uh, my next step, I've got 3 squared, m to the 5th, t to the 11th. On the bottom, 3 to the 5th and m to the 7th. I have uh, like terms in my m's and my 3's. So when I uh, divide 3 squared divided by 3 to the 5th, I get 3 to the negative 3rd, m to the negative 2nd, t to the 11th. So both these I'm going to move down. Again, everything's on the top. So I get t to the 11th on the top, 3 to the 3rd power, m squared. Uh, 3 to the 3rd power gives me 27. m squared. Go ahead and flip it over to the back. On the back, uh, same things. Uh, so again, with this first one, uh, I'm going to share the 2 with the top and the bottom. So 3x to the 1 half, all to the second, and then on the bottom, uh, 15 squared. So on the top, I'm going to share that 2 between the, uh, the 3 and the x squared. That'll get me 3 squared x to the first power when I uh, multiply those together. And on the bottom, uh, I get my 15 squared. Um, I can simplify those. So on the top, I get 9x. On the bottom, I get 15 squared, which is 225. One thing that I can do um, is I have a number on the top and a number on the bottom. And so, again, they're not like bases or anything, but I can divide them to simplify my problem. Remember that don't subtract. Make sure that I am dividing. So on my calculator, when I do 9 divided by 225, I hit Enter. So I do 9 divided by 225. Um, I then hit the Math button and Enter twice to reduce the fraction for me. It's uh, 1 over 25, so I know on the top I'm going to have 1x, or just x, and on the bottom I have 25. Again, that's just an easy way to reduce the um, fraction for you. On um, the second, or this uh, middle one on the middle of your page, um, again, I want to take care of my exponents first, so my parentheses first. So I get 4x to the negative second, y to the fourth. On the bottom I get 8 uh, x to the third, 
and this is going to give me y to the negative sixth. Again, multiply those together. Um, move the x and move the y. So I get 4 uh, y to the fourth, y to the sixth. On the bottom, I get 8 uh, x to the third, and x squared. So I can just go ahead and multiply the y's together. So I get 4 y to the tenth. Again, when I multiply those together, make sure you're adding exponents together. On the bottom, I get 8x to the fifth. Again, I can reduce this fraction here. Um, 4 divided by 8. If I do 4 divided by 8 in my calculator, math, enter twice, reduces it down to 1 half for me. So I have a 1 on the top, y to the tenth. And then on the bottom, I have 2x to the fifth. like that. Last two examples then. Uh, again, getting kind of crazy. Um, with the one in the top right hand corner, again I'm going to share a 6 between the top and the bottom. So I have a to the negative first, b to the third, c, all being taken to the sixth power. On the bottom, a squared, b to the fourth, all being taken to the sixth power as well. So the 6 is going to be shared. Uh, on the top and the bottom with each of the terms, 3 on the top, 2 on the bottom. So when I do that, I get a to the negative 6th, b to the 18th, and c to the 6th. On the bottom, I get a to the 12th, and b to the 24th. Again, by multiplying power to a power. I can move the a, um, so I get b to the 18th, c to the 6th over top of a to the 6th, a to the 12th, b to the 24th. I can divide my b's together, and then I can multiply my a's together, kind of combining them into one step. So I, on the top, I have b to the, when I subtract those, I get negative 6. Um, I get c to the 6th, and then on the bottom, I get a to the 18th. Last step would be just moving the B down, and so my final answer should be C to the 6th, and then A to the 18th, B to the 6th. Just like that. Again, these are pretty crazy examples, so don't freak out. Um, last one, I'm going to work myself inside out with my parentheses, so I want to take care of that 2 first. So I'm going to go 4 squared, X squared, Y. On the bottom, I get X, Y to the 4th take this all to the negative second power. And do that to the top and the bottom. So I go uh, parentheses 4 squared x squared y to the negative second. On the bottom, x y to the fourth to the negative second. And I'm going to share that negative 2 with the three things on the top and the two things on the bottom. So when I do that, let me give myself a little bit more room here. When I do that, I get uh, 4 to the negative 4th, x to the negative 4th, y to the negative 2nd. On the bottom, I get x to the negative 2nd, and y to the negative 8th. Uh, everything's going to flip, so when I do that, I get x squared, y to the 8th, and then 4 to the 4th, x to the 4th, y squared. I've got my x's, I've got my y's, so when I subtract them, uh, again, my answer always goes on the top, so x to the negative second, let me get, get myself room, so x to the negative second, 2 minus 4 gives me negative 2, y to the sixth, and on the bottom I have my 4 to the fourth power. So the x is going to move down, and so I get y to the sixth, and then on the bottom, See, 4 to the 4th power gives me 256 x squared. Just like that.